My name is Kelly Yeo, and I'm a concept artist and texture painter at Immerse Games. I do the concept art, which gets made into models, and then I do the textures for the models. I've basically textured the entire game. <laughs> Stubborn, rebellious, I kind of like did not understand why authority inherently deserved respect. <laughs> so I was just like, I'll fight you teachers. <laughs> but teachers that, were, that actually did earn my respect by being patient and like kind to me, they didn't talk down to me. I was like, okay, you're cool. Like I understand you've earned my respect. I don't give you my respect inherently. Uh, well, I, I did go to um, to Savannah Cultural Art and Design, and um, I, my major was sequential art, comics, uh, storyboards, concept art. But I also took a, a minor in concept art for games, and um, that gave me a wider skill set. It's definitely been a lot more useful um, to me, and I, I really enjoy it. It's nice getting to be part of both pre-production and production, because then, you know, I get a hand in, in both 2D and 3D art. That would have to be Fable by Lionhead Studios. I was a big reader, and it was the first game that let me feel like I could explore the world similar to how I read books and stuff. It was the first game that allowed me to personally do that, like personally feel like I was in the adventure as opposed to like reading about someone else having an adventure. So that was really cool for me, and I think that opened my eyes uh, to the possibility of what games could accomplish in an interactive medium. Building worlds is very exciting and um, as a creative person it's very fulfilling to be able to like flesh out these spaces and characters and props and stuff like that and, and see them like made into a world that I can walk around in. That was always the coolest, coolest thing for me. It's been really great seeing it become tangible and uh, that other people like to explore these worlds as well. I think it's important to stay open to, to learning new skills. I got into like texturing and stuff, I had no prior experience with that and I didn't realize that I would like it so much or be good at it. Just keep expanding your skill set and so that you can be more versatile because you might find your calling in, in different areas and try not to like box yourself in too much I guess. Like, be like, oh, I'm definitely on this path because like there are so many possibilities out there. I've been able to learn a lot of different skills and help out in many different ways. Just keep an open mind and um, be willing to learn.